So uh, here we are in the what is probably the sort of most important demo of the day here at uh, Qualcomm HQ, a demo of the X50 5G modem. So Sharif, why don't you tell us what this is all about? Sure. Yeah. So this is uh, a live demo of um, 5G millimeter wave connection um, using the Snapdragon X50 5G modem, which was the first announced 5G modem in the world. Um, so what we see here is we're achieving you know several gigabits per second yep. of download speed. Um, over millimeter wave spectrum, which is a new type of airwaves that will be used um, for the first time in mobile networks with 5G. It's never been used before. Um, it brings with it many challenges because it's very finicky, but it also brings a lot of um, great characteristics. In this case, massive bandwidth and yeah. uh, extreme capacity and speed. And I think that's what we're demonstrating in these. We've got, we've got eight carriers here, so that basically means eight chunks of millimeter wave being used in parallel. Correct. And those numbers are each uh, sort of throughput, which adds up to this. Correct, yeah, so that's here, the that throughput right? on each one of those chunks of spectrum, as you mentioned. In this case, so there's eight of them, and each of them is 100 megahertz wide. So right. in total, the modem is processing data from 800 megahertz of bandwidth, and this is just astounding. Yeah. It's about 10 times the amount of bandwidth that's used in the best LTE networks that are available today. And this is really the promise of, of millimeter wave, um, that it can support much wider bandwidths and for much higher capacity and much faster download speed. And I think we've got over here, we've got the actual modem in action. Correct. Um, well, will you just talk us a bit about why we've got it set it up like this on this robot arm? Yeah, sounds good. So what we're doing here is we actually have the modem inside this, what looks like a smartphone. It's a prototype unit, a little bit bigger than you know, it will be in the end. We, you know, over the next 12 months, we'll continue to shrink down uh, our prototypes to the point where we'll get it into something that looks like a real smartphone that you yep. could buy. Um, so yeah, so what we have here is the modems inside. We actually have the millimeter wave antenna module kind of towards the back. It's hard to see from this angle, but um, and it's, it's receiving data. The reason why we have this arm is we like to test how the you know the data download will continue even as the device is moving yeah. uh, because again millimeter wave is very finicky and so right. we try kind of test it in different positions. So, to so see you're how sort of testing for robustness. Correct, we're testing for it. robustness exactly. Okay. And this yeah. is this is the actual chip that's generating. Correct. All this, yeah. uh, yes, it's throughput. actually a it's a live demo uh, right now. Um, yeah, so the, the, the modem itself is inside, the millimeter wave antennas are there as well, and it's receiving data you know, live as, as we speak right now. And this is good. We actually, um, last October was the first time that we announced that the X50 modem silicon was back uh, from, right. the, you know, from the fab, and we turned it on. And at that point, we were getting about 1.25 gigabits per second peak wow. speed. And That's so from October top. until February, here we are. You know, peak of 4.29 gigabits per That's second. Impressive. So we've been doing a lot of work, um, making great progress, and we think we are on a good path to get real 5G smartphones in people's hands in the first half of 2019 and have um, real networks deployed as well that they can use the smartphones on. Great. Well, hopefully you give me one. Yes, <laughs> <laughs> I'll be glad to. Okay, thank you very much. Thank you.